So uh, here I'm gonna show you something real quick. So this is just about layout. You know, if you're trying to see how your page looks on different mobile devices, you can use the layout. And the layout basically gives you uh, the option to kind of see how different uh, how your content renders in a, a different devices and device width or you know, screen or viewport if you want to call it that and um, and you are able to so let's build this up this page up a little bit so that we can See they are highlighted the layout container and now I'm, just, I'm able to pull you can see those columns there basically the bootstrap columns that represent you know the 12 the 12 columns and you're able to just decide how many columns you want this content to cover you want it to cover the whole viewport or half the viewport you know and those columns really help you align them so let, let's build this page up a little bit so that I can demo for you the layout and how to adjust this layout. And let's say this is decorative, so no, no need for so much metadata. So let's um, let's build this page throughout. So I used the content uh, fragment. I used uh, image. I'm gonna make it half so you can see there. We have, you know, um, you know, classic page, and I'm gonna just try to give it some margin so you can see how I'm dragging there just to leave a space in between. So just a perfect spacing because I know that one bootstrap column there. So you know, I'll go ahead and build this a little bit more. Maybe add another content fragment. You know, and you can see it's kind of classic page. Here you have an image, and then you have some text, and you have a smaller image. So now let's look at the layout. So I go up there, and you can see the layout. And now I'm adjusting for the mobile, and I want the mobile this section that has a river flow, I can call it where you have a text and image side to side. I want them to cover the whole length of the mobile. I want everything in mobile, all elements to cover, you know, the whole. And the same for maybe, you know, but you can see there, the desktop remains the same, but when I go to mobile, I've redesigned it differently. So now I have everything covering end to end on the viewport. But when I go to iPad, or at least a tablet size somehow you know you can see okay let me just adjust that so it looks good too um, you can see I have it covering you know, end to end for mobile but I'm gonna leave it that way for desktop so this is about responsiveness right so you want you want to make sure that your content looks good on all devices you know so but you're building once and you're rendering everywhere and uh, this word, building wise and rendering everywhere, um, is very important when it comes to AEM, you know, and you'll find it in so many ways. So, so you can see that looks good. You check, and there's a way to check how this preview looks. But right now we can build and you can see how easy it is when you're building responsiveness on this. So now you can go and say, um, you can look at all the ways to preview your page there. So if you want to view as published, you can view as published. And the good thing about view as published, it kind of gives you exactly how the page would look being rendered online. So here we can adjust the page just so we can see the viewport. Now, can you see how the mobile looks? But when you make it desktop, you can see so let, let's just use uh, Chrome Dev tools here when you look at it I'm looking at it as a dimension 
responsive dimensions. So you can see when I drag it, you know, the page changes there. Everything takes up the whole. But when I um, when I make it, I make it bigger. When I make it smaller, you can see the elements cover end to end. Okay, but when I make it a desktop or bigger than some type of dimension, you can see that in the middle here, I have two elements breaking up to become a river flow. So you get the text on the side and you have the image on the side. So there you go. You can see um, how effective this AEM what Job Experience Manager is as far as building responsive pages, you know, it gives you so much control and it gives the authors and 